Okay, Christopher. Time to find out what's causing your nightmares. You're suffering from acrophobia, a classic fear of heights. <gasps> oh, what's happening? <laughs> Attack of the Sandman! Midterms, go ahead, guess! No, never mind, I'll tell you, me, that's who! <laughs> Where do you get your energy from? I'm completely wiped from a week of studying. <laughs> studying? Get real, Martin, we both know you've made it your life's mission to avoid studying whenever possible. Okay, fine, I'm exhausted from all the procrastinating I've been doing, but in all fairness, monster movie marathons do take a lot out of a person. So, what's your secret? <gasps> huh. As you can see, I've discovered sugar and lots of it. It's amazing. I pulled an all-nighter and didn't even blink once. Uh, maybe you ought to consider laying off the candy for a while, sis. That is, if mm. you can. Oh, well, of course I can. I mean, it's not like I'm dependent or something. Yeah, right. I bet you can't go 24 hours without sugar. Don't be ridiculous, Martin. I've got the situation completely under control. In fact, since midterms are now over, I'm declaring myself officially off sweets. Okay, but if you're wrong, you'll do my algebra homework for a month. And if you're wrong, you'll go a month without any late-night fright fests. Deal! Huh. Center calling. Hmm. Oh, man. It's worse than I thought. You didn't even last ten seconds. This? <laughs> but this doesn't count. It's all natural. Just nuts and honey and carob. Mm. <sighs> Fine. I'm getting rid of it. Mm. <laughs> Martin Mystery. Clear. Diana Lombard. Clear. Jabba the Caveman. Clear. Whoa. Killer spread! What'd you do, Billy? Knock off an intergalactic pastry shop? I just figured you'd be hungry after all your studying. And procrastinating. Oh, you think you're right. Oh. What are you waiting for, Di? Dig in! Okay, if you insist. Huh? <gasps> oh, come on, Martin. It's just one lousy pastry. What harm could it do? None. Unless you have an affinity for quadratic equations. <sighs> uh, forget it. I just lost my appetite. Uh. Too excited. It's still in the experimental stages. I don't care. I've got to have one. I mean, forget about a car. With that suit, I'd be the most mobile teen in town. Not to mention the most unique or stylish. Quiet, Martin. I need to concentrate. This isn't as easy as it looks. Anyway... Today, you'll be traveling to a university in Vancouver to see a student who hasn't woken up in three days. 
Her name is Carrie Hunter, a junior. It's probably some kind of evil storybook spell. You know, like a Snow White eternal slumber kind of thing. And let me guess, one smooch from Prince Charming will wake her up? Now that you mention it, that's not such a bad idea. Actually, it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some aerial maneuvers to practice. <laughs> Catch you later, mates. <sighs> I can't believe it. I've actually found a school that I want to go to. And having you do my math homework should definitely help me get in. Don't count on it, Marty. I haven't lost the bet yet. Anyway, this is the place. This is Carrie's dorm? Looks more like Buckingham Palace. Hi, I'm Leanne, Carrie's roommate. You must be the agents from the center. Yep. I'm Agent Mystery, this is Java, and the closet huh? sugar freak is Diana. <sighs> oh, I'm really glad you're here. We've had three doctors examine Carrie, but nobody's been able to wake her up. <laughs> Don't worry, Leanne. We'll figure out what's wrong with her. Whoa! Freaky! Her eyes are completely white! Hmm, she must have some kind of virus. They're very common in college dorms. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Di, this is the cleanest dorm room on Earth, and not exactly a breeding ground for germs. Okay, then why do her eyes look like that? Simple. She's controlling her pupils so her enemies will think she's a zombie. A, a zombie? zombie? Yeah, it's what they do in this remote tribe in Borneo that I read about. Huh? But if it'll make you happy, I'll do a bio scan and be the info to Billy for analysis. You know, on the outside chance that I'm wrong. Watch activated. Bioscan selected. Oh, sand, just like at beach. You're right, Jav. It is sand. Have you been to the beach lately? No, really strange, especially since Carrie doesn't go anywhere near the beach. She's like totally afraid of the water. Well, that ought to do it. I guess all we can do now is go to our hotel and wait for the results from Billy. No hotel. Mansion. No way. We're staying at the president's mansion on campus while he's out of town. This assignment rocks! Java and I are going to check out the swanky spa facilities. Want to come? Oh, no thanks. I'm going to take a half-hour cat nap, catch up on some Zs before the bioscan results come in. Oh, I get it. You're tired from the sugar withdrawal. I am not. I just feel like taking a nap, that's all. Okay, but if you change your mind, I hear the spa has a wicked chocolate body wrap. Ooh. No, Diana. Remember, Bat? You're right, Jav. I've got to be strong. That's right. Uh. Otherwise, the only thing you're going to be wrapped in is a month of coefficients and polynomials. Hmm. Oh, wait. Everything's a mess. Gotta study. I can't find my books. Oh, man, what a horrible nightmare. Hardly the restful 30 minutes I was looking for. <laughs> Are you okay? No, there's something in here, some kind of uh, monster. A monster? Where is it now? I don't know, but it tried to attack me. <sighs> Nobody move. <sighs> hey, guys. Oh. Oopsie, didn't mean to scare you. Then you should probably come through the front door like a normal person. Uh, don't mind her, Billy. She's a little on edge. Plus, she had a nap time encounter with some kind of monster. Really? What did it look like? I don't know. It was kind of... Uh, elusive. Too bad. Anyway, I've got the results of the bioscan. Carrie's eyes weren't white. The pupils were just moving too fast to see with the naked eye. Sounds like some kind of hyper REM state. You know, a rapid movement of the eyes, only faster. Too bad we don't know any experts in the sleep research field. Maybe we do know. A campus directory. Good work, Job. <laughs> Dr. Marcus Hanlon, head of sleep research. Huh, this must be the place. A little 
dark in here. Luckily, I came prepared. Looks like someone or something trashed the doctor's lab. B -b body <sighs> Uh-oh, we have another victim. You're right. His eyes are all funky and he's covered in sand. Maybe the monster leaves the sand behind as some kind of excretion. You know, like a slime trail, only less gooey. Maybe. Of course, if we don't find Dr. Hanlon, we'll never know what really went on here. Don't be so sure. Dr. Hanlon's computer. Weird. The monitor's all melty, like something came out of it. <sighs> So much for our insider's view. Cheer huh? up, my little chocoholic. All I gotta do is patch into the U-Watch. Voila! This is amazing. It's as if we're seeing into his dreams. More like his nightmares. And it still doesn't explain how the monster fits into all this. <gasps> Closet! Here we go again. Oh, oh, get away! Uh, you must be Dr. Hanlon. I'm Diana, this is Martin, and that's Java. We're here to help. Oh, I've been here for days. Ever since that thing came through my computer monitor. That's it. That's the connection. The monster used the doctor's monitor as some kind of portal into our world. His computer program must have opened the wall between the sleep and dream worlds. So what are you suggesting? The monster's from one of Dr. Hanlon's patient's nightmares? Precisely, and now it's in this world terrorizing anyone who falls asleep. Interesting hypothesis, except that none of my patients have had nightmares involving monsters. Then, where did the creature come from? I don't know, but maybe the Legend X does. Here we go, the Legend of the Sandman. According to legend, the Sandman is a creature of the Nightmare Realm who attacks people in sleep. With his magic sand, he's able to induce nightmares in his victims. Nightmares that never end. So, how do we stop him? We lure him here. And how do we do that, smart guy? Hmm... Uh, but I already took a nap! I'm not even tired! Face it, Doc, you're perfect monster bait. Besides, we already know the guy likes you. Once I press this button, it will only take a few seconds for you to doze off, Diana. I don't know, Doc. There's still a lot of sugar coursing through her system. Hmm. <sighs> what a weird dream I just had. I thought I was in Vancouver. Hmm? Oh my gosh! It's noon! I'm late for my midterms! Where are my books? Oh, everything's a mess! I have to clean up! I have to clean up! Okay, buddy. Time for us to do our thing. Java ready? You watch activated. X-Rod selected. Diana meant by elusive. Uh, oh well, guess we'll just have to go to plan B. Pay the Sandman a little visit in the Nightmare Realm. No way, Martin, forget it. Sorry, Job, we have no choice. It's the only way to stop the Sandman and save Diana and the others. You'll have to sprinkle some of the magic sand on us once we're asleep. That's our ticket to Nightmare Central. I will. And here, take this with you. It's a panic button. Press it, and I'll know you want to wake up. But how will that work? The Sandman will be controlling us. Not if you face your fears, Martin. You see, confrontation is the secret weapon in eliminating bad dreams. Ah, makes sense, Doc. Hmm. Dear 
Fishy, fishy. Java love. Hello, spider. Oh. Java, hey, cats. So, uh, what did you want to see me about? I think you know, Martin. Huh? You're fired. Fired? But, but, but why? Because you're the worst agent we've ever had. Martin, Java! Am I ever glad to see you here? Um, where is here exactly? Looks like some kind of nightmare realm. Well, what are we doing here? I don't know. Well, how do we get out? I don't know. Then, I guess there's nothing left to do but panic. Panic? Wait a minute, I remember. Dr. Hanlon gave me a panic button. Dr. Hanlon, the guy from the closet? Hey, I remember too. He said it would help us get out of here. Then Martin, press button. I can't, Job. Not until we face our fears. Help me! No. And not until we help Christopher and Carrie. Ah. I'm so high up, I'll never get down. Yes, you will, because none of this is real. Now all you have to do is step off the edge. I can't, I can't. You have to. It's the only way to make your nightmare stop. <laughs> I did it. I'm safe. Ah! Help me! Help me! I'm drowning. No, you're not. It's just a bad dream. But, but I can't swim. I'm afraid of the water. I know, but trust me, you're gonna be fine. You've just gotta let me help you. How did you do that? I didn't. You did. Press button, Martin. There. Now let's just hope Dr. Hanlon's listening. Look, a doorway. Dr. Hanlon must have heard us. You think you can escape? Well, you can't, because I control everything in this world. Grab him. Martin, 
And the Sandman's holding us back! That's the idea. As soon as he tries to pass into this world, we've got him. <laughs> now that the Sandman is caught between dreams and reality, he won't be able to hurt anyone ever again. Nice work, agents. The Sandman has indeed been neutralized. Now, who'd like a lift to the airport? <gasps> uh, tempting offer, Mom, but I think I'm gonna stay here for a bit. You know, mingle with the college set. Yeah, I think I'll stay too. Really? I'd think you'd be totally wiped by now and need some shut-eye. Are you kidding? After that nightmare experience, I don't plan on sleeping anytime soon. Hey, where'd you get that? Thanks to my favorite co-ed, I've got a fresh supply. One that I don't plan on giving up. Guess that means I won the bet. <laughs> yep, bring on the algebra! I started the morning by falling out of an airplane. Which begs the question, how much worse can someone's day get after falling out of an airplane? Not the water! Uh, X-Men Evolution, Monday, May 22nd through 25th at 7.